Hello and welcome to the short board on Parshas Noach. It's hard to uh, choose a topic. There's so many choices to talk about. I will share a few thoughts that I heard from Ramosha Mayer Weiss on Torah anytime. And he starts off in Perik Vav Pasig Yid Gimel, Kimala Haaretz Hamas, that the final reason why the, the, the world was destroyed was because of Hamas, which is translated sometimes as violence, but Rashi is translating here as, as theft. And he says, Lo Nechtam Gzardinam, that their final decree was not sealed, Ella al Hagezel, only because of the theft. So, why is it that a generation that was full of other immorality, Gila Rayos, Shrikas Damim, Avodazara, why is it that they, the final Gzera is only because of monetary theft? So the answer is Hashem would have liked to have had mercy on them. He would have liked to have punished them with you know, taking away their wealth, having physical uh, issues. You know, just like we see by uh, in Mitzorah, that first it comes on the house, and if you don't recognize the signs and do tshuva, then Hashem will bring it on your clothing, and if that sign doesn't work, then ultimately the, the tzaras will be found on the person. But first Hashem wants to get you on your possessions. But since they stole everything because they were gozel everything, therefore they had no possessions that were theirs that he could punish. Therefore Hashem had no choice but to punish them directly and cause the destruction of the world and take their lives. Moving on a little bit further, in Perak Zion Pasuke, so there's a famous Rashi on the words of Neha Mabel, that and when it started raining, that Noah went to enter the table only at the mass, last moment because of the, the flood rains that were coming. And Rashi says, Af no, it says, Af Noach Mektani Amanahaya, Mamin Veino Mamin Sheyavo Hamabel. So most people he understand this as Noah was a person who was very, uh, he was one of those also was lacking some of his amuna, despite the fact that we call him a tzaddik and tummim and all that. And it was only when they finally came, uh, the rains that he went in. There's different reasons, uh, but the one we're going to focus on is a unique interpretation that Reb Weiss brings from the uh, Rebbe Mivorka. And that is, Noah had this... Uh, Part of his chain probably was that he trained himself to, self to see the good in other people. He would look at the positive, not just at the, the negative. And, and therefore, when he saw these other people who had a lack of amuna, who were katani amuna, so he thought, okay, well, they're going to get the message. Eventually, they'll do tshuva. Hashem gave an extra week with the death of Mrs. Shelach that maybe that week will be enough and they'll finally do tshuva. But they didn't. But this is how the Rebbe Mivarka translates, interprets Rashi. He reads it differently. He says, Noach, Miktani Hamana Hayan Mamin. He believed in those who were of little faith. He believed in those others that weren't doing as well, weren't as faithful to Hashem as he was, but he thought that he thought that they would still be able to do tshuva, and he was betting that they would do tshuva, and then Eno Mamin Sheye Mamul. He didn't believe there'd be a mamul because they do tshuva. That's the power, that's the positive focus that, that he had. And that's an important lesson that we should have as a media to, to see the good in other people. If you see someone in shul who's the schmoozer, who's talking nonstop, don't just focus on that part of him. But focus on maybe he's a, a big bal sadaka, gives a lot of a lot of uh, money to charity, or he's a big bal he does a lot of kindness to other people. So yes, he, one aspect of him is not good, but focus on the positive of it. And if we focus on the positive of the, of the people, then surely we're not going to do things like become violent or steal as uh, the Dor Hamabel did. So thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.